Everybody say hi. Joel, can you say hi? Uh. All you gotta do is have a bunch of snacks and uh, you got your log buddy. Oh, he's waving. Oh man, I'm looking forward to a lot of adventures with that little man. Hi, bud. You ready to go get some logs? Can you say yeah? Can you shake your head yeah? He's saying yeah. Uh, I love this little thing because it's just so easy to move around. Now, it, it ain't light like, but it's, it's pretty stout. But uh, I can move it by myself and with a partner, it makes it even way easier. But you're able to just maneuver this little thing by yourself and it's not a, a ton to do. So let's uh, go get this into a little tight spot in the backyard and get us a little elm log. So let's do this. All right, I'm in his backyard or right by it. Uh, there's the gate, but it's got a huge elm tree. Um, but this thing's about 10 foot long. And I think on one end it's about, on this end it's like 12 inches across. I think over here it's got a little crotch section on it. That's about 14 to 18 inches across. Um, but anyways, it's a decent little log. Nothing spectacular or huge, but um, enough to get some good wood out of it. Maybe some boards or just a, a mantle stock or something. So um, I really like that like little curve there because there could probably be a really cool curved bench out of it or something. But uh, again, this is for a friend just getting it out of his backyard. So I got to get the log hauler back in here and uh, this is why I love this little thing gonna be able to maneuver uh, it in here and uh, grab this little log so I gotta move some stuff around and let's get going there it is Took a little longer than expected. Just used my, uh, as you can probably saw, used all my things. Man, this thing was heavier than I thought. Um, and you know, I didn't like crank it up as high as I should have or normally do. It hit that, and I just didn't want to drop it down. I'm not having to go too far to put this thing up, so I'm not too worried about it. But uh, I got all the straps on there. Got a safety chain there. I always tie my safety chains too, maybe just because my dad's an insurance agent. I'm like over anal about that stuff because I've heard it all my life. Son, make sure you got it tied down right. You know, I do, you know, a safety chain on that in case something happens to this and it releases or breaks. If it falls, it's got safety net um, on that as well. Anyways, yeah, there's this uh, pretty good size elm log. I usually put a piece of this orange on the back of that one, but I'm just gonna slowly take it smooth and get this thing out of here. Is this is a, uh, that's why I love this little contraption right here. Get some stuff that you normally wouldn't be able to get. It's Friday afternoon, just take my time, not in a rush. I bet it probably took me 30 minutes. This was a little, I probably, I was a little lazy today. I probably could have got it out better or backed up over the top of it better, but you know, sometimes you do what you just gotta do and then uh, it's gonna be on there good and you got your log, so it don't really matter. Um, just another day in the urban logging in uh, here in Arkansas. So uh, who knows what that's gonna be one day. See, now we gotta get it over to my dad's and uh, unload this thing. So uh, let's uh, keep going. All right, we're here. About to drop it off and uh, let's just say the log yard's grown. Got some pine logs, seen all those. More out there as well, just uh, you know. Just adding them up. Adding them up. My old Peckerwood brother right over there. <laughs> I love him. It's awesome. Uh, all right. Let's get this thing unloaded. Dear gosh, it's a beautiful day in Arkansas. Fall, man, the leaves are just gorgeous around here. Man. So that is a wrap today. We got this thing unloaded. Uh, again, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but uh, these logs keep piling up and dadgummit, I haven't milled in a long time and I'm ready to mill. It is, life has just been insane. Busy with uh, everything else, 
But uh, we'll get to it when we get to it. That's the beautiful thing about these logs. They can sit for a while and uh, they ain't going to rot too bad. So uh, I'm going to get to milling. This weather is starting to be big time milling weather. Um, and so I think once I get these tabletops finished up that I'm working on, I should, uh, I'm not going to do any woodworking projects for a bit. And uh, I'm going to do a lot of milling. And so I'll get a lot of good footage for y'all. But thanks again for watching. If you have any questions, comments, please leave them down below. Hey, if you, if you want to know more about my log hauler, like, hey, shoot me some questions watch one of the other videos and uh yeah keep saving these logs don't let them get thrown in the pile or turn in the firewood until next time hey keep sawmilling